Even though regular expression support in Google Analytics 4 is not widely available, as in Universal Analytics, there are still places where they can be used. However, there are some nuances that you should be aware of, and in this video, I will show them. The first place where you can use regular expressions is to define unwanted referrals. So you can go to admin panel of Google Analytics 4, then click data streams, then select your web data stream. Here you should click configure tax settings, click show all, and then list unwanted referrals. If you want to enter multiple domains, you can either add multiple conditions, but if you want, you can also have, let's say one condition that matches several domains. To do that, you should switch to referral domain matches regex and then enter your condition. Now, here's the thing to remember how regular expressions work in Google Analytics 4. They are looking for exact matches. So if we want, for example, to exclude paypal.com and example.com that both have, let's say, www subdomains, it would look something like this. Then a pipe, which is or, in regular expressions, dots are wildcards. So any symbol actually replace the dot. So if you want to actually match the character, which is dot, and you don't want to use the wildcard feature, you should enter the backslash before that. So now this regular expression will be looking for this referring domain or this. Because if you entered like this, then www subdomains would not match because again, in Google Analytics 4, regular expressions are looking for exact matches. However, there is one thing which is useful in this case and when it comes to Google Analytics 4, you will have to use that quite often. And that is a regular expression, which is dot asterisk. So dot asterisk means anything and as many characters it is possible. So this dot asterisk would match www or something else. So if you're looking for a partial match and you want to include all subdomains, then you could write something like this. So this means that the referring domain must end with paypal.com or example.com but it is also possible that before them there can be some subdomain or you know, something else. Another place where regex is supported is related to internal traffic. So you can go to admin of your GE4 property, select your data stream, then configure tax settings, show all, define internal traffic, and here you can either create a new rule or maybe you already have that rule, but basically what I wanted to show you is that here you can enter your IP address and one of the options to match that IP address is to use a regular expression. So instead of adding multiple conditions because maybe your IP addresses are fairly different, you can use the regular expressions. Another place where you can use regular expressions is explorations. So let's go to explore, then click blank and let's create a simple report where we look at all events that were tracked. So in dimensions section, click plus and add event name, click checkbox, import, and then in metrics, let's use something simple such as event count. Click it and import. Now double click on these to add to the report. And this is a basic report. However, let's imagine that we have a situation where we want to include either page view or file download. So in this case, you could create a filter where event name matches regex, and then normally, at least that's how it would have been done in Google Analytics 3, which is Universal Analytics. So in the older version, it would have been enough to enter page and file because both events start with that. But if you click apply, no data will be returned because again, Google Analytics for regular expressions is looking for the exact match. So in this case, you have two options. One option could be to enter the exact matches. So it should be either page view or file download and then click apply. Or if you're looking for partial matches, because sometimes that makes sense, you could enter, let's say something like that. So page or file, and then after them, there can be anything, so dot asterisk. If you're looking for some value and let's say page and file might be somewhere in the middle of that text, then adding dot asterisk before it would also help. So click apply 
and we have the same result. If you're looking only for one value, let's say some text must be somewhere in the value of the event name. So obviously you could use the contains option or in regular expressions, it could look something like that, where it basically means anything, page, anything. And now this filter will show us just the page view event because that is what matches our filter. One more place where regular expressions are also supported, and this has been added to Google Analytics 4 very recently, is in the admin panel. And you can go to events and choose either modify event or create event depending on what you want to achieve. So let's say that we want to create an event if another incoming event's name is X or Y. So to do that, you can go to create event, then click create. And let's say that we are talking about some form submission and you have two events. You have form submission and you have generate lead. So to create a one unified event, you could create something like form completed, for example, and then here you can select the parameter. So if the event name of the already tracked event matches regex form submission or generate lead, then this new event will be created in Google Analytics 4 as well. If you want to learn more about how modify or create event feature works, then I have a longer tutorial about event tracking in GA4 and I will post a link to it below the video. And what I noticed in this case is that regular expressions do partial match as well. So in this case, we don't need to enter dot asterisk at the end or at the beginning. This is just one more place where G4 is not quite consistent as it could be. So I guess my recommendation here would be that if you want to work with regular expressions in G4, try them without dot asterisk, but if they don't work, then add dot asterisk as well. Also speaking of the regular expressions in the create events section, I noticed one weird thing. Maybe Google will fix this in the future, but right now here's how it works. So let's say that you have two thank you pages. One of them is, let's say, HTTPS example.com thank you. And the other one is success, like that. So let's say that you want to create one event if a visitor visits either success or thank you page. So to do that, you could name this event, let's say, thank you page or something like that. And then in the parameter, you could specify that the event name must be equal to page view. And then you add another condition where page location matches regular expression. And then it should contain either success or thank you. However, here's one catch. And again, I'm not sure if this is a bug, if this is intended, but even if you add regular expression here, this error still requires you to enter HTTP or HTTPS. So if you don't see this error, probably Google changed something. But if you do see this, then your regular expression must start with HTTPS, then like that, and then you enter like that. And here you would need to enter dot asterisk. So in this case, the page location must contain this, then anything, then this or this, and then anything again. That's why it looks a bit clunky, but that's the only way how I managed to make this work, at least right now. And then you need to click create. So after that, when a visitor comes to a page where the URL contains success or thank you, then this event will be automatically dispatched by Google Analytics 4. And the last place that I want to mention is segments. So there are some situations where regular expressions might be useful. So go to segments and click the plus icon in your exploration, then select the segment type. It might be session segment or user segment. And then when you select a certain dimension, for example, maybe you want to analyze sessions coming from particular countries. So in that case, click geography, country ID, and then here in the filter, you can switch to matches regex and then enter the country ID, for example, US or Canada. Of course, you can use the OR operator as well, but this is one of the options where regular expressions might be a bit quicker to configure. 
And that is how you can use regular expressions in Google Analytics 4. I really wish that regex was supported in more places. For example, the search field in standard reports. But it is what it is. If there is one takeaway from this video, it's that regex in GA4 is looking for exact matches. That's why dot asterisk should be used often. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.